going guys I'm Steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you'll return the subscribers as always guys welcome back and I do appreciate the support ladies and gentlemen I want to introduce you to the juggernaut female she can be any color she can be any size she can be uh, any ethnicity juggernaut female is an unstoppable force belligerent angry Sometimes mad cause she breathing. And the story I'm about to tell you today is one such occasion where we see the wrath of the juggernaut female who gets turned up from next to nothing. When she's turned up, can't calm her down. Can't reason with her. All you gotta do is just buckle up and hold on for the ride and hope you make it out alive. This story happened in Houston, Texas, supposedly last week on a Sunday. And it's about a woman, an ER nurse that was beaten up because her car accidentally bumped a juggernaut female's car that was in front of her at a Whataburger drive through Something simple. I told you before, juggernaut real, juggernaut dangerous. And here's another uh, story in the Juggernaut Chronicles. Take a look. Well, only on two tonight, an ER nurse was beaten up while waiting in the Whataburger drive through line. The injured nurse says the assault was caused when she accidentally bumped into the SUV in front of her. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. Daniela Guzman is off this evening. This happened in Houston's south side neighborhood along Old Spanish Trail. Our Gage Golding spoke with the victim who was still dealing with the injuries. Gage. Yeah, Keith, she has a bruised up face, a busted lip, and even a broken blood vessel in her eye. All of this because she gave somebody a little bump in the drive through line here at the Whataburger. Welcome to Whataburger. What can we get for you today? I ordered a number 13, two gravies, and a cinnamon roll with a root beer to drink. It's this 29-year-old nurse's go-to Whataburger order, a quick meal after a long day on Sunday. Well, what was supposed to be, at least. I usually put my car in park when there's a long line. She thought she was in park, so she let her foot off the brake. Her car creeping forward and bumping the vehicle in front of her. In the nurse's words, this is a true accident, but the lady in front, well, she wasn't buying it. I had rolled down my window to ask, and I apologized. I said, I'm sorry, did I hit your car? And immediately she got out and started screaming, told me to move my car back. Oh, she said a lot more than just that. This woman spilling swear words from her mouth that might even make a sailor blush. No, go that way, On top of that, she opened the nurse's door and beat her, not once, but twice. This video capturing the second round. No, I couldn't really see. I was a little disoriented. It, she had hit my head. We're concealing your identity for this interview because you were scared of what she could do to you? That Whataburger is really close to my house. I would not be surprised if she lived in the same area as me. I just want her to realize that I'm somebody's daughter, just like she is. I can tell she hurt you not only physically, but also emotionally. Yeah, the scars will go away. You know, the, the bruises will heal, the swelling will go down, but I just felt so dehumanized. All right, so after all this happened, our victim, she went home expecting to see some sort of damage to the front of her car, right? Of course, if somebody was that upset over an accident, you'd expect to see something, but you can see for yourself, not even a scratch on the front of her white sedan. So uh, this is where the Houston police come in. This is where they need your help. They're asking for any information, any tips. If you know who this woman is, please pick up the phone and call. They say the woman is described to be in her late 30s or early 40s. She was driving a dark colored SUV, possibly maybe a dark blue Mercedes. Mercedes SUV is what we're thinking at this time. If you know anything at all, pick up the phone and call Crime Stoppers. Live in the South Side, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. Yo guys, another display of juggernaut behavior. Disgraceful. Seen a woman's car, wasn't even a scratch on it. Didn't even assess the damage. It's like these people out here nowadays, a lot of times act like when you hit the car, you hit them. And they got to do something back to you. Woman said, I'm sorry. No problem. She ain't went no trouble. Juggernaut jumps out, get to arguing with her, opens the woman's door, punches her in the face, not once, but twice. 
I want you to think about that. She punched her twice on two separate occasions after hitting it at first. I mean, after uh, getting out the car. Evidently, it wasn't no damage. You're in a drive through You're right next to each other. Ain't no way, you know what I'm saying? You won't tear the car up. Does she have one of them things the police got that bumper, that steel bumper thing? It's a simple mistake. We all have done this before. You know what I mean? You, you, you get in an accident or like you, you might tap somebody because you're in traffic. Says so she thought her car was in park. ER nurse. Try to get a quick lunch or whatever. Get punched in the face. Luckily, the woman wasn't devastatedly hurt. But I mean, damn, come on. These are two women here. You know what I'm saying? Two women. And couldn't come to an agreement. The woman did what was right, according to the news article. Hey, I'm sorry that I hit your car. I think, honestly, the woman in the, uh, thing, in the car, the juggernaut chick, ain't had no insurance. Another thing I think, a, a factor I play into this is, I think because that chick was white, she acted a fool with her. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, sometimes people take advantage of other people because they might see that the person's small or something. I think part of it was the chick was little and the chick was white. Probably been, might have been young. So she got a car and acted fool with her. But either way, man, it's stupid. This whole thing is dumb. Y'all both getting food. Then you fighting and, and doing stuff in the line, right? You can't even go nowhere. So you got right back in your car and then sat there and moved forward after fucking some lady up in the back expecting nothing not to happen. Now, my thing is this. That lady got punched in the eye or whatever. Why you ain't get this woman license plate? You on the media and stuff. You was right there. Did she scare you that bad that you couldn't see straight? I wonder if you ate your lunch after getting, you know, busting your eye. And it's unfortunate. Should have never happened. But there are people out here, man, that when they get mad, they don't care about nobody else. And that's nothing to really get mad over. Nothing to get mad over. She jumps out the car. You see what she had on? Like she had on a nightgown and shit. A damn nightgown. And it looked like she had a jiffy pop. As soon as she got out the car, you already know what it was going to be. Beef. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, it, this, is, this is messed up. And it's a poor display, man. And that, that right there continues to push the stereotype. Us being violent, unruly people can't, be, can't work with us. Distrust for all kind of stupid stuff that's out here. That was nothing to fight over. It wasn't. And those with common sense, no, it wasn't. But I mean, evidently she was having a bad day and took it out on the lady. But either way, man, I mean, come on. What if that lady was strapped and you ran up on her and you opened her car door and she blew your face off? It had been another whole nother scenario and a whole nother story. People out here had a right to defend themselves. The woman apologized. I'm sure if it was anything that could have been done, y'all could have talked it out. But now nah, you took it to the hands immediately. And that's messed up. And what's crazy about it is that the woman was in her 30s. Might be described in her 30s. She probably had kids. What if she got boys? What is she teaching them with that type of behavior? Exactly. Juggernauts ain't born, they made. Always remember that. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I told you, like I told you, juggernaut real, juggernaut dangerous. And be on the lookout. You never know when you'll come across this uh, animalistic being. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. It's not funny, but damn, you know, it's embarrassing. She should be embarrassed and ashamed of herself. But you can't shame the shameless. See you in the next video. Take care.